What is up, y'all? We're gonna be on a mission here today. We're starting this video off today at the place where I used to spend like all my money. Not really too much anymore, but if you guys saw the video before my last video, two videos ago, that was actually the fall trout season opener here in Delaware. They stock rainbow trout, they stock golden rainbow trout, which I really want to get on one of those, but right now it is probably like a week since they last stocked. So I'm like hoping there's still fish in this water. They were actually going to be doing some fly fishing. Well, at least I'm going to be attempting to do. I mean, if you guys have seen my last couple of videos from fly fishing, did not like I'm not the best. I've only gone like three times, okay, but we do have like a slight issue. This right here is my first fly rod ever. I bought it here. There's a video of actually me buying it if you guys want to watch it up there. In my most recent fly fishing video, this thing kind of. Like, I'm not exactly sure. So right now at the moment, we are fly rod list. We're in need of a fly rod. It didn't really, like it got caught in the tree and it, it just kind of snapped like a cracker. I didn't even really yoink it that much. We have a few options here. So this is a Cabela's brand fly fishing rod. It came in like a combo set. So, I mean, they used to do this thing where they just like replace it if you have the receipt. But yeah, I don't know if they do that anymore and I don't have the receipt. I do have the card I used. They took that one time when I was doing the warranty thing. So I don't know, do you think they'll replace it? It was supposed to be a lifetime warranty. First, I'm gonna go in there and see if they do that. Cause if not, this is gonna get freaking expensive. You don't have a receipt yeah. or anything? I have the uh, credit card I bought it. Yeah, so. they, we can't look something up that far ago. That is actually not what I expected. All right, so we need to find this exact one if they still have it. All right, so we got the combo. This is like $179. I didn't know I paid that much for this. I don't have the other stuff or the receipt. So this might be a little tricky, but let's go see what we can do here. I'm being told like one thing from one person, one thing from another. All right, that was all very confusing. Well, I got this thing for kind of free-ish, sort of. That was very interesting. They're kind of like all over the place with returns. They were getting very frustrated. I, I, I don't know. We got a new rod. They're gonna get to the water here. Hopefully we catch the freaking trout, man. I have not gone fly fishing in a long time. I don't know how this is gonna go, but. Step one is complete. We got a rod. Ooh, all right, we made it here to the fishing spot today. Here's what, hold on, let me just say real quick that Cabela's, like their warranty is now broke broke. At the time, all Cabela's products had lifetime warranty and then they go to not having lifetime. So I'm really happy, like, it, it really does make sense why they gave me, I don't know why they gave me all of this stuff. But yeah, I mean, as you guys can see, I got the whole freaking kit again, so that's pretty sick. Slightly different style this time too. It's more like a blue-ish. I think last time it was more of a green. This thing is freaking beautiful, man. Let me show you guys real quick. geared up. I'm actually really excited, man. This is like my freaking third time ever. So I don't exactly know what I'm doing fly fishing, but I don't not know what I'm doing. What a beautiful fall day to be doing some trout fishing. As you guys can see, like that just sounds like fall. It all happens so quick. These trees are all pretty much bare. Like the leaves change colors and then like two seconds later, they, all those freaking leaves are on the ground. But right now we are on our way back to the fly fishing only section of this creek. I don't know if they stocked this for the fall, so that's a thing. And by the way, there were like a lot of cars, so I'm not gonna be talking super, super loud. There's like a bunch of people. We gotta respect the fellow fly fishermen, man. I'm a freaking, <laughs> they're gonna be like, oh my God, this kid does not know what he's doing. Okay, all right. Are there any fish here? Suppose I could give a few casts in this area. If you guys do not remember the specific area or if you did not watch my last fly fishing video, this legendary man named Tom kind of helped me out, showed me the ropes. So pretty much, let me show you guys what we're gonna throw here and I'm just, I'm gonna get to it, man. It's tough, man. I gotta like re-remember all these basics. So pretty much what I got going on here is this tiny, tiny little nymph type, uh, I think that's like a nymph. And a little bit above that, we have this little strike indicator. This is actually pretty cool. Before I was using like a tiny little bobber, but the guy Cabela's, I actually talked to the guy Cabela's, he told me a lot about fly fishing today. He said not to use those strike indicators because they make a loud splash, scare everything away. Probably like I'm doing by talking all freaking loud over here. But then, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. So pretty much you take it out of the package and it's like a little sticky thing and you can stick it on to your line. And then, yeah, I mean, it looks something like this. Wow, it is freaking beautiful out here. Whew, all right. I do not see any trout. This is just the beginning. But I mean, there's so much. Like I, I could walk that way for a while. Okay, that was terrible. Oh boy, just gotta try to remember how to cast this thing. I can't tell if that's a golden rainbow trout or a freaking leaf. Holy crap, I think we have a freaking golden. Wait, there's two goldens in here. Okay, this just got pretty serious. Yo, if I could imagine catching a freaking golden rainbow trout on a fly. <laughs> it's pretty much just like that. We're gonna cast it 
45 degrees upstream. Pretty sure that's the number. We just kind of watch it float on down. If it starts to go too fast, we're gonna like over I don't know the correct term. Dude, that is a freaking golden rainbow trout. Does that mean there has to be other kind of trout? I think really like my whole goal for today, I just want to catch a fish. I don't know how, how tough that's going to be. I'm starting to get the casting back though. I feel like we're doing all right in that category. Hmm. Oh, freaking stick in there. I thought I was a freaking fish. Ew. Okay, one thing I was taught while doing this kind of fishing is that you just need to keep switching flies like you never know what kind of fly they're gonna want guess they don't want this one all right we're gonna continue moving that way i might come back later for that golden i'm pretty sure he nipped at my bait i'm like pretty sure i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell the colors probably not but these like that tree oh my gosh it's just like reflecting off the water it's like a freaking fall paradise out here there's literally nobody back here with a fly rod i don't know like i don't know if they stock this All right, so let me kind of explain what is going on here. Right over there is the line, like the border to Pennsylvania. So we're gonna turn around and go this way. I don't think that they like, really stocked the, uh, I mean, I walked pretty far up here. The thing that's really weird to me though is how that golden trout is down there. So I don't know if they did like a slight stocking like up over that way, just didn't walk all the way back here. Or maybe, I don't know, I mean, they stocked it a week ago. Maybe everybody took the fish home. I usually, I feel like fly fishermen are more into the sport, so they don't like, I don't know, that's probably just me generalizing, but I feel like they don't keep as many fish over here. Oh boy, since there's like no fish over here, things are about to get pretty interesting. We are officially doing something that I have never done before. So we are actually walking this way. This section of the creek is open for everybody to fish. So I might just be crossing lines with a bunch of power bait, spinners, jigs. Oh boy. Surprisingly, I really don't see anybody around. That again could turn out to be not very good. I don't know how many fish they stocked. It seems like they didn't really stock that many. We're gonna see, I just wanna catch one fish. Like this thing is so sick looking here. Focusing is so cool. It's just interesting. The water is flowing a lot more over here. I just don't know, man. I'm so not used to this freaking fly fishing stuff. Oh my God. I got a freaking fish. I got a fish on the fly rod. What the heck is that? Okay, that is not a trout. <laughs> All right, first fish of the day. Dude, I don't even, I mean, that's not a trout, but let's freaking go, dude. Come here, let me show you what I got him on. I think this is a little fall fish, right? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Just a tiny little, I have no clue what pattern jig this is. Definitely a tiny little thing. All right, let's see if we can whip him. Like, oh gosh, I always freaking fumble these dudes. First fish of the day, not a trout. That is all good, man. Get back in there. Sorry, I got you a little dirty. <sighs> okay. Confidence is building. Dude, I really think, I mean, the further we go into this too, I think it's gonna get even better. I really think we can catch a fish. Oh my God. I had another fish there. I'm getting bit like right there. Oh my God, that's a fish. Is that a freaking trout? Chill, 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 chill. Dude, that's a trout. Holy crap, small one, but dude. Okay, I cannot lose this. Oh my gosh, that is a really pretty little trout right there. Holy freaking crap, where's my net? All right, chill, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. I gotta play this guy. Please do not come out. Dude, it took me all day. Came back to the spot where I saw the freaking rainbow, the golden rainbow earlier. Oh my God, this guy's putting up a freaking fight, dude. Please, for the love of trout God. Come here, come here, come here. I'm really good at losing these trout when I'm fly fishing. Dude, this guy's putting up a crazy fight. Once you see this fish too, you're gonna be like, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Holy. I think, I think that's a trout. Oh my God, look at that trout. 
Oh my gosh. All right, come here, boy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is this a wild? No, there's no way. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is a freaking beauty. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a freaking little brown. Holy crap. That guy's looking at me over there. Oh my gosh, okay, keep him in the water. First fish of the day. Holy crap, dude. Oh my gosh. Keeping him in the water. I'm wetting my hands. I'm just gonna hold him up real quick. Look at the freaking colors. That is a beautiful. I'm gonna take some pictures of my phone. I know it's not gonna look as good on camera. Oh my god. Dude. All right, I'll put some pictures up on the screen right here. Still trying to be pretty quiet ish. Let me take this out of him. Lore is out. I'll show you guys that in a second. So here we go. Last look. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's my first brown trout ever. I've only caught rainbows on the fly rod. And I only caught like, I think I only caught like two or three trout ever on the fly rod. It goes right away. Oh my gosh, man. I don't know how those have so much. Air. Like that was a small fish. I do have a really long and like very light uh, rod, but that was very, <laughs> oh my God, that was so much fun, dude. Totally worth like, oh my gosh. By the way, I don't know if I said it or not, but I actually came back. This is the spot earlier where I saw that Palomino. I don't know if they really stocked anywhere else but this spot and maybe closer to, I, 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 don't, I don't know. What I do know is, I don't even know if you guys can see how small that little thing is right there. That's the little jig I got him on. All right, it's starting to get pretty dark out here. I'll chuck this thing around a little bit more. I mean, these things should be feeding up. That was a cold fish. That made the whole day. All right, I gotta get quiet a little bit. <laughs> First brownie on the fly rod. Let's go, man. All right, so I'm gonna float this thing around. Oh, that's a tree. <laughs> float this thing around a little bit more. The sun is, like, it's getting pretty darn low there. All right, unfortunately, there really don't seem to be too many stock trout left over from like the week ago stocking, which I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. They probably didn't stock too many and like people probably just took them out. We also had a lot of rain like a couple days ago. So I don't know if that did anything to them or not. Maybe pushed them all the way down the stream. But yeah, man, brand new fly rod. That is freaking like, I actually really, really want to start getting more into fly fishing. Just definitely let me know in the comments below and go give this video a thumbs up. If you guys would want to see more fly fishing, there's always certain people who say like that I should go do it more. Just let me know if you guys like you know let me know if you want to see more of that we had an accomplishment man first brown shot ever on fly rod and we actually caught a fish like i didn't i did not think that we were gonna catch a freaking trout that was freaking awesome so yeah man if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to go down there hit that thumbs up button it really really would mean a lot to me and also man if you guys are not already but if you do enjoy my videos make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and if you never want to miss an upload from me go down there hit that notification bell that'll pretty much make sure that you know youtube lets you know every time i put out a new video it was a bit of a struggle getting back into the, like the whole scheme of fly fishing but it turned out to be a lot of fun i gotta give a shout out to jacob anderson this video is comment winner if you guys want to win a shout out at the end of the next video all you got to do go down there and leave a comment Whew, yeah man i can't believe like this year is flying by we still got a lot of cool stuff coming up in the near future and i'm going to be doing some other traveling so we got some cool stuff coming up on the way just stay tuned just thank you guys so much for the support as always really really does mean a lot to me all i gotta say man is let's keep this going thank you guys for watching see you next video